We just used the brush hog to finish clearing out the brambles that the goats were working on, and it looks awesome. And then- more goats. I, I didn't say it, he said it. What? Hey ladies, come on, good girls. Yes, come on ladies, come on. Good girls. That's where we're putting them. Oh, come on. Come on, ladies. It's off. So I just moved these ladies into a new fenced off area where we have the most brambles that we want to clear. It's about a 20 by 20 foot spot, just chock full of brambles. And as soon as I moved them over, they just got to work. They are munching down and they are so happy. So I'm not sure how long it'll take them to clear this area. We have about another, I don't know, 400 feet on this side of the property that needs to be cleared as well. So. We definitely know it'll take a while. I'm hoping that they'll continue to eat the brush through the fall and maybe even the winter. That way we can get this area cleared up before next spring where it starts to leaf out again. But I'm definitely happy that the process has started. So these girls have been in this area for about a day and a half now and they have done some amazing work. I'm going to show you around the amount of brambles that they have cleared already. They've taken down some of these brambles here. You can see that there are just twigs coming up and a lot of the leaves they've nib nipped off. But over here is where it really has had a big difference. So it looks like they've gone in about four feet, taken all those leaves off. So all the way across here, they've gone in about probably two to four feet. So I'd say probably about 80 square feet they've taken down so far just in a day and a half. So this is kind of interesting. The cat has decided to join us in here with the goats and the goats I don't think have ever seen a cat before. <laughs> So they're curious. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not quite sure, but they're curious. Well, we were worried about this. The ladies did such a good job clearing this out that they created a path behind those brambles past the fence and now they get out. They snacked on my raspberry bushes on the way and now I have to go lure them. I don't have any feed with me but if they see the bucket they'll think I have some. So I'm going to go lure them back into their yard, their permanent paddock, and then later today we're going to move their whole fenced yard into a new area. Ladies! Come on, ladies! Ladies! Come on! Hey, ladies! Hey, ladies! Come on! Good girls! Yes, come on, ladies! Come on! Good girls! Good girls! Hey ladies! Come on ladies! Good girls! Good girls! You're going faster than me! <laughs> Good girls! Come on ladies! Good girls! Okay, bathroom break. ladies. Come on ladies. Good girls. All right now at least I won't be mean. I'll actually give them some, some treats. Oh. Hold on. Let's get inside first. Let's get inside first. Let's get inside first. Come on. Good girls. Good girls. Good girls, come on inside. Yes. Good ladies. Safe and secured for now. The goats did such a good job clearing this out, at least taking down most of the leaves and flattening a lot of it, that Matt thinks we'll be able to just use the brush hog now and come clear out the rest. So we're gonna do that now. We just used the brush hog to finish clearing out the brambles that the goats were working on and it looks awesome. I can't believe that we got all of this done. 
I am so excited. So now, instead of seeing brambles, I'll show you the view. So our plan now that this is all cleared out, we are still going to put the goats back in this area because the fence line actually needs some work. We weren't able to get the brush hog all the way along the fence line. So we are going to put up a new fence around the perimeter of this area, hugging the fence line so that they really focus on it and clear it out. We also got a new house for them this mobile house that's on skids so we can move it around. And it's just really simple, but I think it's going to work great. So Matt just moved it over here. So that house is over here. That way they have a shelter while they're over here working. We'll move that along as they keep clearing it farther and farther down the hill. Now I'm going to set up their fencing and get them back over here. I just got the goat's yard set up, so now I'm going to go get them. Who would have guessed that Buttercup would be stuck again? Uh, yeah, let's go help her. Should I help her? Should we help Buttercup? Should we let her out? Okay, Buttercup, let's get you out. Alright ladies, you want some food? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Good girls.
these girls are happy now. They willingly followed me really, really well. And now they're in the area that they should be eating their sweet feed. They have their fresh water and their new house they can sleep in tonight. Now all that's left is to do is to turn on the energizer, which I have forgotten time to time. I think that might have led to them getting out once or twice, so we'll get it on. All right, you have to come, you have to come down <laughs> to my level or something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so Matt, what's our... <laughs> I'm doing the splits. <laughs> Sorry, I'm short. Okay, so Matt, what's our plan for this area after the goats are through clearing it out? Uh, I think in the early springtime we're going to have a neighbor come through and seed it with grass so it, so we can start getting the grass to grow in rather than the weeds. We're fighting the weeds all the time. We don't want to mulch it either. So um, since it's already grass up to that area, we just want to extend the grass all the way through the area. Um, at least for the short term. And then eventually maybe this could be a site for a future shop, but that's at least years down the road, so. Yeah. And in the meantime, now they are getting benefit from eating the forage that's there. They are pooping there and getting it well fertilized. And then the bush hog is going through and chopping up the rest of the dead stuff so that can decompose and add to the soil for the springtime when we go and plant. So. Hopefully that should make it nice and fertile up there because it's been so overgrown. Yeah, nothing, it's very dense. Nothing else could grow except for the brambles, so now the soil will... Well, the brambles were killing themselves. It was all black Yeah. in, <laughs> yeah. in certain areas. Yeah, so that worked out pretty well. It was pretty easy to use the brush hog and go through there with the goats thinning it out for you. Yep. Yeah, they. I guess they worked the edges and then I... They didn't really, I think they avoided all the dead center. That's what they weren't eating. So that's what Maybe you just had. Maybe because it was dead, yeah. Yeah, because it's all hard dead. So you just had to go through and whack it all down. Yeah, but I think that was a good, a good strategy to use them first for, we did that, they were in there for a week and a half. Yep. A week and a half and they did a really good job. Everything was pretty well stripped out. And then they ate themselves a path uh, to freedom. Yes. So that's why they kept getting out. Yes. So that's when they lost their privileges and they had to go back to the goat yard. Yep. But now it looks really good. So they'll probably stay here for maybe, I don't know. Well, it might have yeah, to be a week. We'll see. If we have time during the week, maybe we can move them if maybe, they need to be moved. They need to do their work yeah. and then we can move them. If they get their work done, if they get their homework Look, done. They're already eating the stuff know. we wanted them to eat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, I didn't want to chop that down. Yeah. So then we'll just keep moving them down the line. So this spring I spent weeks, probably like at least six weeks, um, clearing out the brambles on the northern border. Yeah. And that was about it wasn't, it as, wasn't as thick as that. Yeah, but it, it was, wasn't as deep, but it, it was, was 500 feet. It was a yeah. long way. So that took me about six weeks working on it almost every day. And then there was all the trash that it left. Yes, it the bramble the piles. Bramble piles that we had to, it was a logistics issue. Yeah. So now this will be less work because we won't have the bramble piles. They come out as fertilizer. Yes, exactly. So we'll just move them down the line. We probably have like 40 or 50 feet being run at a time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we'll just move that down. This is our western property line, so we'll keep moving them down um, to, the, to the bottom, right? And maybe then we'll start working them down in the old house yard. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And then- Need more goods. I, I didn't say it. He said it. Well, I know the logical conclusion to that. Okay. <laughs> as, lo as long as we have it on film that you said it and not me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But after we get that cleared out, we'll probably, we're definitely going to leave that nice big tree there because that one looks really healthy. All the other ones, I don't think anybody planted them. 
they just popped up as weeds essentially and so they were planted pretty close together and never tended to so they're not doing very well and it's also blocking our view of the mountains and then our neighbor's really pretty hill and field and barn so we'll probably cut most of those trees down maybe get a wood chipper and then start using that um, for garden mulch so we have lots of stuff to do but it feels good to get started I was telling Matt that this feels like our most successful venture that we've had in a while so I'm glad it's working out really well and we have what like 400 square feet of 600 square feet of space that we didn't have before yep yeah it's now it's like all cleared other, out whole other yard yeah it's really cool all right well that wraps it up for these goats we're going to keep working with them i'll probably keep showing you as we move them along but they're just going to keep doing this over and over and over until they go around all of our property huh that's their funny. whole lives <laughs> their whole this will be their whole lives <laughs> once a week they'll just move down and keep the brambles down but i'm glad that it's working out the way that they want or the way that we wanted it to and i think they enjoy it as well oh, fertilization going on right now. Oh good. <laughs> Thanks Buttercup. All right well that's it for this video and um, I will see you in the next video.